And I'm Philippines. dying at your background, Manny. Your Manny is manning the pods. <laughs> yes, I'm manning the pod. Very smart. <laughs> I want to congratulate you on Love Is Blind season three. It's as fun and intriguing as ever, and all the dramas. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Every 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 season uh, seems to bring the drama and the intrigue, and they're all they're all so different from each other. So uh, I think everyone's gonna really really like season three. It's pretty. Incredible. Oh. I totally agree, Mr. Nick. But let's begin with you, though, Ms. Vanessa. Give our viewers a taste of what's in store for season three. I mean, what makes this different from all the other seasons? We are in Dallas, Texas. Um, we did Atlanta for season one, Chicago for season two, Dallas for season three. Um, and honestly, what I love is, is just watching the journey of them. I feel like we dive a little bit more into their personal journeys and then what brings them together or ultimately apart in the end. So um, people are gonna love watching this love unfold and these love stories. And I was up yelling at the TV because since we were there, we get to you know watch all of them before you guys. And uh, I was screaming at the TV. So <laughs> it's, it's definitely, um, it's got all the juice. You are absolutely correct, yeah, right? It's, it's, it's the journey, like we follow them from when they met to the altar, to after the altar. And I, yeah. I'm like yeah. addicted. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite part? Oh, the, all the dramas in after the altar, by the uh. way. <laughs> 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 but Mr. Nick, I spoke with you about season two at the beginning of this year. Yeah. And now we're in season three. When you first were making season one, did you ever think that it will last this long? I had no idea, honestly. It was such a it was such a wild premise, and and you go into any kind of first season, and, and it's just an experiment, right? It's an experiment for everyone involved. Um, but I did know that we couldn't stop talking about it during season one. Like we were so interested in 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 these in these people and their journeys and their love, and so I, you know, you can't help but think to yourself, if we're that interested in it, working on it, then you know, people are going to enjoy watching it. So. Um, we've been thrilled, obviously, with how people have responded to, you know, to the show, and uh, it's been such a, a pleasure for us to get to work together and be a part of it. But yeah, there was no, no one had a clue what we were doing in season one. We just went for it, and um, and uh, again, thrilled that it turned out the way it did. Oh, now at the heart of the series is the question: Is love truly blind? Do you really think that love is blind, Miss Vanessa? You know, we talk about this all the time. It's it's this is an experiment. So I use that word loosely. And we're asking a question. We're asking a general question. And actually, a lot of them addressed it in this season. You'll see at the end, they address whether they think it is or isn't. And um, I love, like, no, it's not truly. It is a big factor. And that's the beauty of it. The foundation that you want in a lasting relationship is communication, trust, emotional trust. Then you move into the next level and layer, which is the physical world, which is a factor. Then you move into the third phase, which is the external world, your family, your friends, mm -hmm. giving their two cents, your work environment. All of those things are what make a relationship ultimately work. So our personal relationship is love blind for us, yes, because I hope to grow old with this man. And we have built a foundation of our relationship based on who he is on the inside and him me and at the end of the day that's what i have to hang my hat up on so um i love watching everyone's journey and how they find that and if it is for them or not that's the beauty of the show oh hooray for vanessa lachey the <laughs> romance counselor <laughs> i'll take it can i get a pin <laughs> vanessa lachey romance counselor <laughs> Love is Blind streams on Netflix, the third season, on October 19th. What do you hope for viewers to get after watching the series, Mr. Nick? Well, I think if you're a fan of seasons one and two, you're going to love season three. I think, to me, um, this may be the most special one we've done so far. And it's just, it's got everything. It's got the love. It's got the, the drama. It's got the, the twists and the turns. And, and uh, again, if, if you were a fan of this show before, um, season three will not will not disappoint. I promise you. Does our love counselor have anything to add? Yeah, love counselor. What do you got? <laughs> That's what she, love counselor. Um, he's right. I second that. I also, as a love counselor, know that when to agree with your spouse. <laughs> <laughs> very, very good. A big congrats on Love is Blind season three again. And 
Hope to see you all back again for the fourth season, okay? Thank Fingers you. <laughs> Good luck on everything, you guys. Thanks, man.